here and I was very satisfied with it. Okay, let me just show you. This, let me get my little piece of paper here if I remember right. All right, uh, this is going to be put together as a 10 meter quad. So the arm dimensions from the center point, which is right here, to the end of the tip is going to be 77 inches for the reflector and 75 inches for the driven element. And you basically only have to make one measurement. If you do the 75, make a little mark where that is here, because that's the center point. That's where you start your measurement from. And you take one of your rods. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll find out. <laughs> All right. Take one of the rods and slip it in. I set this up beforehand so I could do this little demonstration. And as you can see, it goes in and off very neatly. And we use this on the uh, hose clamp to tighten up when we got it where we want it. So we take this newfangled measuring tool that I got here. It's kind of awkward sometimes. Okay, so we're going to measure off 75 inches to the tip. And let's see what we got here. I've got the shapes here. I had too much coffee today, I guess. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a problem. Gonna go all the way back here. Five inches right there. Okay. And all we're going to do is make that one mark. We can tighten it up so it doesn't move. Okay. So that's solid, not going anywhere. And we just take our mark, go all the way around. Once we've got this one, this is something that can be done after the fact when you get ready to put it together, but it saves you a little time setting these things up if you mark them beforehand. So now that we've got that mark, we take four of these, three plus this one for your, uh, this is for your, let's see, 75, that's for your driven element, and you take the other four, you add two more inches to make it 77, and mark it in the same place. And uh, you put those aside, you mark them driven, you mark it reflectors, and when you, when you put the things together, uh, all you got to do is do just what I did. You just automatically pull them onto that mark, tighten them up. Once you've got all that done, then you start stringing your wire. Uh, so that's about it. It's really, it's a fun project. Uh, preparation is key to making sure everything goes right. Uh, I talked to a gentleman online that was going to use some uh, fiberglass rods that he picked up from some place that weren't exactly what it's supposed to be in. And when you start substituting, sometimes you run into a problem. Uh, but the one I've got sitting out there on that uh, post up there, it's like uh, 18 feet in the air. Uh, it survived a main winter with winds in excess of 40 miles an hour and temperature below zero. And I used it today to talk to a gentleman down in Virginia, and 10 meters was up and running today. It was great. Uh, so I hope that you get a chance to do this project, put it together, uh, make a few adjustments, maybe with the SWR, get it peaked in with, and I think you'll really like it. So I think this is probably the last in the series, so I'm going to say goodbye. I'm glad you stopped by to watch. I hope that the video explained a little bit better than the website. Like I say, the website is listed on Ham Universe under My Quad Project. And the gentleman's name is Don that I communicate with, a very sociable young, young man. I don't know how, how old he is, but we're both veterans anyway. Uh, so um, I'm glad you stopped.